Claus comes on his reindeer and he lands on the roof and goes down through the chimney and fills your stockings for you. He has a red nose and long white beard, a red nightcap with white pom-poms on it and a red suit with white outlines and a jolly face. If you're naughty, you don't get anything. But if you're good, you get full stocking. Stretch out your hand. Stretch out your hand. Don't you have a greeting for me? Today of all days. Ending and beginning day. The day of death and new birth. Try Merry Solstice. Um, Solstice greetings. You have forgotten me, haven't you? Your children tell sweet tales of me and you laugh behind their backs. But I tell you, your children are wiser than you. You still don't remember me, do you? Think back. Think back to the very beginnings. Back to a time when the long darkness brought hunger to your fireside. A black stranger to live with you. The dull pain of famine. Think back. Think back to the times of the pounding heart, the ache of the chase, the madness of the kill, the smell of blood, hot in the snow, the red and the white. Red and white. When a dulling eye and the ebb of breath meant an easing of hunger. For a while, Do you remember me now? Your children draw pictures of me. An old man in a red suit with a white beard squeezing down the chimney with all they want most in the world. Lord of the reindeer, keeper of the game, as old as mankind. I am the shaman, the magician, the priest. When your heart beats fast in the dead of night, I am there. When you whistle or sing in the face of danger, I call the tune. I am your ancestor and your child. I am your guest tonight. And you will be mine. Here is my invitation to your house, a green tree from the northern forests. See? Some things you still remember. An evergreen tree hung with lights and mirrors, sparkling gold like the glimmer of solstice fire through the forest branches, red and white, blood on the snow. And today, the day of endings and beginnings, of death and rebirth, the birth of the sun, the solstice. Come with me back to the very beginnings. Stretch out your hand to me. Stretch out over a thousand generations. Come and understand once more. of the woods and the forests, the beasts and the seasons. And then one day the Christ people came, turning their backs on what is 
and demanding what should be, as if they were lords of it all. They took that song and made it theirs, just as they took my solstice festival for their own. The sun, the birth of a sun, as it always was for as long as mankind has gaped at the sky and questioned the light and the darkness. Birth of a sun, birth of a boy child. Their festival is a trick of words, a fashion of the last few seconds of the history of man. But while they tried to drive me back into the shadows before their newborn godling, the Christ people still feared me. For the shaman was their ancestor too. The blood on the snow. So, they tried to tame me, contain me, cage me, turn me into a tale for little children, a bringer of gifts, a driver of reindeer, an old man from the north with a white beard and a little magic. But their children were wiser than they. In their turn, they remember the solstice fire. O oh, day spring, brightness of light everlasting and sun of righteousness, come and enlighten him that sitteth in darkness and the shadow of death. Lighten the world and cast out the darkness of the spirit. Do you remember now? Are the old memories stirring? Pass as the shade passes, as a thought in a dream. Pass with me to the edge of the pitchy forests, the edge of the wind-scoured plain, back to the very beginning, when the hungry ice drew back, the bare earth swelled, and the hunter strode over it to the north. Smell the chill on the wind. Black winter is here too. The red and white bridge is ahead. Agaric, the shaman's mushroom, the crossing to the spirit world. Eat. Soon you will see the magician's reindeer fly again, skimming the snow. Speckled deer, riding the northern winds, pulling a sleigh with an old man in a red coat, bringing gifts. I tell you, your children are wiser than you. The dark forest presses on each side. The ice casts an iron band round your chest. Snatching breath. But there, ahead, is fire. Solstice fire. Red cat upon the hearth, striped with gold, spitting and twisting. Could eat the whole house if you let her. Now do you see how you are favored? Midwinter blesses you with a festival of overeating. But look beyond the fire there, to the shadows. You see the old people, near ghosts, sitting, waiting for the cold to take them. This is the real midwinter, a time of hunger, when the old set themselves to die, to lighten the load on the rest. In the summer fattening time, the reindeer moved in herds on the plain, and we hunters followed killing for our people, food in our bellies. That was a fine time. Sun-hot grasslands, and the grouse, so plump and slow, they could hardly rise away from our arrows. But winter's never far away. It soon blew down from the mountain tops, bringing the night spirits to live with us. If you listen, You'll hear the long dead howling in the forest. One-legged seamstress has needles, but can't.
can't sew. Wears the same green gown each day and a white overcoat in winter. Kindle the fire, heat to heat, light to light. Give back fire to the sun at midwinter. Bring new fire to each home. A burning log from the forest. Fire to ease the birth pangs of the sun. The stones of the earth remember a time when the sun did not return to them from the darkness. Then ravenous ice engulfed the land, bringing nothing but stark, white silence. The very mountains were split and milled to sand. What chance had the hunters and their people? For this reason, they make a gift of flame to the sun in midwinter, so that it will return to them. Red flame and white ash, red and white solstice fire. Wither, wither, black flowering night. May your dark gypsies bleed. Burn up like a pool on the summer plain, shrivel like a stain upon sand, dwindle to a basalt pebble, tiny as a slow worm's eye is, vanish to nothing. A red deer comes over the hill. Shoot your arrows as you will. The deer will stand there still. The sun rises as a deer on the hill. Let the shaman draw on a rock with white chalk and red ochre, and let the likeness live. The raven, the reindeer, the bear, and the leaping salmon, let all those we have killed bring their gifts. Brother reindeer, I'm in your debt. You give me your brown autumn hide to wrap me, my buckskin shoes, my summer tent and sleeping bag. My skin boat, which slips across the lake. Your sinews are my thread. Your bones are my needles. My family eat your tongue, your bone marrow, your unborn forms. From the birth of this new sun to its death next winter, give me all these again. Follow the paths I know, from fawn birth to rut. Cross the river where an arrow with my mark on it can bring you down in the red water. My gift to you in return is never to kill you without need, and then only to take flesh, bone, and hide to leave your spirit free on the plain. Come to the fire. And the shaman's magic will make it so. That is his task, to climb down through the smoke hole of the hut a wooden reindeer painted in red ochre, and so make toys of its wild brothers. And you, black soul of ravens, you who share our killing, you are our kin, you eat our meat and watch over our camps. Bran, the trickster, your feathers hang from our flag sticks, driving the deer into our traps, deceiving them, making them afraid of feathers when arrows lie ahead. Brother Raven, do not deceive us like that. You know the sun must be born again tonight. Without its light, you will not find food. Without its light, your feathers will not dry, and your young will die of cold. Brother Bear, welcome. Shadow of death in the forest. Your claws split open the hunter from head to belly. And yet, your flesh dries on a string in the summer heat outside the hut of the fortunate hunter. All this the shaman will promise. As priest, keeper of the game, magician, and midwife to the sun. Don't forget me. We are one, you and I, hunter and hunted. My gifts to you are the leap, swift urban thought, and the strength to run all day without slackening, though the heart is run out of your prey. I wish you the comfort of the pack about you, and the wisdom which knows caution.
have not to fear. Come to the fire, knight brother, but not too near. Brothers of the natural world, and you others, silent watchers from the shadow world, long dead and unborn. It is the night of longest darkness, the time of greatest danger. The solstice fire burns as a sign to the sun that it must return, or we shall be left in the ice of eternal blackness. None here, O oh sun, have forgotten our debt to your warmth and light. Someone here has failed the trust. There is a lawbreaker here who has forgotten the custom. Season's greetings from everyone here. Merry Christmas. White Christmas. No hell. No hell. Welcome to our store today, our special Christmas offer. If your body has no berries, then why not give Mother Nature a helping hand with plastic ones, each on a piece of Old Christmas dinner served daily from November 20th. A cracker and a novelty hat at each place. Play with this, we'll keep the needles on the tree and give the whole house a lovely piley smell. Or a manicure set for your dog, or rubber booties for that walk through the Plastic snow. Plastic reindeer, their noses painted fluorescent red. Look how they glow in the dark. Small medium, and large. Two for the price of one, while stocks last. And a train set. And a bicycle. No, no help. Seasons, Seasons greeting. Seasons greeting. Merry, 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 merry. merry. Things cannot be. This is the world upside down, like the image in the lake on a still day. You are wrong, Wolf. I have seen it. Who speaks? It is I, Bran the Raven. How can you possibly know? Hunter, your feet are on the ground, and your nose is pressed to the blood trail. I fly high above your head. High enough to see what's to come. And I tell you, the world will be turned on its head. Raven, you are a liar, just as always. How could anyone who lives under the sun forget the sources and the old laws? Are you going to tell them how to live off the earth and not in it? How to become its master? I tell you. The grass is scorched away, and the trees die as if withered by a brush fire, except that no green shoots follow. They destroy faster than they can grow. The cycles of seed and harvest are no longer something to live by, but something to be altered. The animals are no longer brothers, but slaves. How could they have forgotten? Knowledge has made them stupid. Seeing too much has made them blind. One thing they are sure of, that anything simple is a tale for little children. And so the children are the keepers of the truth. And your children are wiser than you. Perhaps they can tell you why every year you set up an evergreen tree from the forest. Like those about you now. Do you think it is simply to please them that you hang shining sun images upon it? Or is it because in the beginnings of time, your forefathers hung dead sacrifices on the living timber as gifts to the reborn sun? And still you utter the words, Yule Log, without remembering the burning branch from the forest which brought the solstice fire to the hearth. If you forget the very roots of belief, if you forget the earth and its laws, you are lost. Time is
is short. The solstice is almost upon us. Your own world is calling you back. Shaman, will the sun be reborn? This time. This time. But if the trees are killed and the seas are poisoned, who knows? When clouds can bring death and not life, who knows? Shaman, you must help. You are the bringer of gifts, the magician. What will you have? Remember, I cannot guarantee the future. One day, a time may come when you wait for a dawn which fails to happen. And you, too, will grope and shiver in the dark as your ancestors once did. What I can give you is your own heritage which you have forgotten. Feel the load on your back. It is the weight of vanished worlds, a gift and a burden from a thousand generations past. You cannot lay it down until the last breath eases it from your shoulders and it passes to your children. You cannot refuse this gift. Thoughts once formed cannot be unthought. Experience cannot be unlearned. But I promise you, the shaman will always be by your side to help you carry it. His magic is in your dreams. Inescapable. blood, hiding from the mountains in the mountains, wounded by stars and licking shadow, eating the medical earth. Oh, little blood, little boneless, little skinless, plowing with a linnet's carcass, reaping the wild wind and threshing the stones. Oh, little blood, coming in a cow's skull, dancing with gnats' feet with an elephant's nose, with a crocodile's tail. Grown so wise, so terrible, sucking death's mouldy tits. Sit on my finger, sing in my ear, oh, little blood. Go now, back to your own world. But never again will you forget me. I am the shaman, the priest, the keeper of the game, whom some choose to call Father Christmas. Whenever you see an old man with a white beard wearing a red suit and riding in a sleigh pulled by reindeer, the chains which bind you to your past will tighten. And you will feel again the pounding heart, the ache of the chase, the smell of blood warm on the snow, red and white, blood on the snow. Come to me, and you shall see the rebirth of the sun, the glorious solstice. I am the shaman. Remember, whom some call Father Christmas.